As you guys may know, Rona is taking over our lives. That's right, guys. <laughs> you guys but I am starting to run out of supplies necessities things I use on a daily like makeup wipes why are you even putting on makeup you're literally not leaving the house well I am sorry I need a little bit of rouge a little bit of lipstick to make myself feel put together I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own makeup wipes and I'm gonna test them with the little makeup wipes that I have left to see um, if it's, you know, maybe we never buy makeup wipes again and we just start using the recipe I found on Pinterest. I really doubt we're not gonna switch back. All right, let's begin. So I went on an intense search to find the best makeup wipe um, recipe out there. Went on Pinterest, the first recipe that came up, I'm using. All right. Uh, it tells you to use two of these rolls for one jar, like a, a regular size jar, of, like a mason jar, but I don't want to use a regular size mason jar, like a small one. I actually want to use these tiny little ones because these are super cute and these are the ones that I have at home. So, you gotta use what you got. Also, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button, hit that little notification so you guys could see my face more often. So you'll need a mason jar, these rounded cotton wipes, one cup of water, purified water, that had water in it, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and two squirts of tear-free baby shampoo. I use Avena because I have a baby and this is the brand that they prefer. I don't know what squirts are either. I came back with my plate, guys. So just a microwave, my, a microwaveable, a microwaveable, words are hard, plate. Let's do the coconut oil first. Make sure it's organic, it is um, refined, refiltered, what is it? Uh, Unrefined, I don't know. Make sure it's good coconut oil. Two squirts of baby soap. I don't, what are two squirts, you guys? One, two. Two squirts. And one cup of water. Ooh. Now all you need to do is microwave it. Uh, the recipe does not tell you how much time, but if I've learned anything, I do everything in increments of 10 seconds. Okay, so my concoction is warmed up. It took a whole minute for the coconut to dissolve uh, because my coconut was solid as a rock. So. Um, I'm gonna just let that cool because that is steaming. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my mason jar ready. And what you wanna do is put, wash your mason jar if it has other stuff inside. Oh, I washed it. So it says put half of your cotton wipes, half of them down, up to half the jar. So fill the jar half ways and press it down and then pour your concoction in there. And make sure to really pour it all over the table. I recommend using a funnel. You basically want to put enough to have um, each contour be absorbed by another half and just squeeze it on in there. There you have it guys you have your own makeup wipes so easy to make but do they work so let's test them out I'm going to compare these makeup wipes to my small very small packet 
of makeup wipes that I buy. So these are the ones I buy, the up and out. First, I'm gonna do the lipstick test. So the first one is just a regular um, ColourPop called Creeper. Um, if you guys know, uh, ColourPop is very hard to remove. So let's see if it works. I mean, I don't know how to swatch. I'm not a makeup channel, so I'm just gonna, like, how do they do this? Clearly, I, I've never swatched in my life. All right. I feel like they make, can you even see it? You can't even see it. I should be doing it this way. Why did I do it in here where you can, I did the worst angle. Oh my God, guys. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it like this so you guys could actually see it. All right. So that is ColourPop. This is the Fenty um, Beauty. This is um, Rihanna's brand. Look at that color, guys. Look at that color. Look at that color, it's beautiful. And then I have um, e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick called Red Carpet. So I'm really testing out three diff very different types of red lipstick and then I got it there. And I'm gonna go with a, another color pop, but this one is called Rooch, Roach, something. It's a lot darker. Let's see. All right, let's let these babies dry a little bit. All right, so it's pretty much dried. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my moist towelettes and I'm just gonna do the, this half the inward way right. it's coming off it's really wet I don't know if I over uh, soaked it but I want to go like this because it's wet which usually I don't mind because I'm over a sink Really scrubbing it there and I feel like it's just smearing all right so it took some time it took basically a whole thing to take out which would be like a bottom lip and let's try with a Neutrogena wipe obviously it's a lot bigger so I could probably use this multiple times but I'm not gonna lie, I'm scrubbing a lot harder on this. Look at how much more I'm scrubbing. Like how harder, how vigorously, you guys, how vigorously. Oh my God, and it still won't, it's still there. Can you see how like there's still a tint? The next color, I'm gonna have to go back and get a new one because this one I pretty much colored it all. Again, it's super wet. I think that's my fault. I think I over poured. But it took it out right away. Super right away. And I could probably still use this one. Now, I'm gonna still use the same one because there's no need to get a new one. And that one was okay. Now, that one was the lipstick, just an actual lipstick. That one I didn't struggle with, neither of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and still use that same one. the same motion the same strength on this one so if you could see I did three swipes on this one 
three swipes on this one using the same pressure and you could see that on the makeup wipes that we buy, it's still there. Then the last one was Color Pop Creeper. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna grab one. I'm just gonna squeeze the excess out. All right, now I'm just, what I'm gonna do on this trial, I'm just gonna give one swipe up just to see how much it picks up. All right, that's how much it picked up. And with this one, I'm gonna just do the same thing. I would say that is equal. Um, but look it, I only used one of these makeup wipes. Sure, it's it takes me a little bit more elbow grease to remove the makeup, but again, I'm still I did four swatches and only used one. In this case, I've had four makeup swatches and have used four swabs. All right, so now we're gonna test on how it feels on my face. So half of the face I'm gonna use with my makeup remover and half of the face I'm gonna use with the one I just made to see how it feels. Let's see. So half using this. You're gonna be like, what happened to her eyebrows? So where'd they go? And there you go, half my face. And this is how my makeup is looking. Now let's try the other half. There you have it guys. This is me with no makeup. <gasps> no, don't look at me, I'm hideous. So let's see how many we used. Um, on my right side, I only used one and I still have plenty of room for my other side of my makeup. Um, for the homemade wipes, I used just two. Um, pretty full too, pretty gross. Uh, how does my skin feel though? The right side of my face feels uh, dry. It feels clean, but it feels very dry. I already have dry skin. Um, usually I always feel very dry after removing my makeup, but then I follow it with washing it with the second cleanser and then putting my moisturizer on so I really don't feel it. Um, with the homemade wipes, my skin feels very moisturized and it's probably because of the coconut oil. Now, I have dry skin, so to me, this is great. If you have oily skin, I would maybe stay away from this because then it's just gonna make more oil with more oil and it's just mm. That's just my personal opinion. I have no dermatology experience. In the end, is it worth it? I'd rather make my own makeup wipes and go out and give something to someone or have them give me something. So right now with this climate, yeah, it's kind of worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button 